Well, hello, new WordPress blogger. This is Matthew with buildyourownblog.net, and in this video, I want to accomplish a couple of things. First, I want to show you how to log in to your WordPress dashboard at any time, and the second thing I want to do is give you an overview of the settings inside your WordPress dashboard to help you get off to a good start. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin. Okay, well, the first thing you want to do is have your browser up, and it doesn't matter which browser you use, so what I want to do here is show you a quick and simple way that you can log into your WordPress dashboard at any time. A real easy way to do it is to go up here into the address bar and type in your domain name and then you want to put at the end of the domain name simply a forward slash wp-admin. So that's forward slash wp-admin like this. Hit enter and you will arrive at your login page where you put in your username and password. All right, now in the dashboard here, you wanna find settings over on this left sidebar. And when you hover over it, you'll see several different categories pop up. Let's start with general, so click on general. Okay, now in your general settings, you start up here at the top, you have your site title, whatever that title is you want it to be. You can always change it here at any time and then you have your tagline which is which shows up in your WordPress theme uh, somewhere on your home page and you can always uh, revise or change this tagline at any time like that so I'll just show you an example here of where you find your site title and tagline we'll go to visit site and in this default theme 2015 you can see the site title and tagline right here shows up in the upper left corner of the theme or the template so go back to our dashboard and then we'll go back to general settings as we continue on down you've got your WordPress URL you don't need to mess with that at this time your site address same thing you don't need to change it right now alright so continuing on the email address you can put in your email address that you want to have for uh, administrative purposes it's the email address that you want to get notified when something happens like a new user notification or something like that or a comment comes in things like that so you'd want to put in your email address there now this membership box here that's unchecked you're most likely going to want to leave it unchecked because if it is checked that can allow people to post things on your blog so unless you want people to have that freedom to do that, I would not check it. And then you've got your user default role. And then time zone, you want to select which time zone you're in. The date formatting that you want, check that. The time formatting, check that. What day you want your weeks to start, you can choose that. And then your site language. You can just leave the Mojo Manager alone if you have that. And go ahead and click Save Changes. All right, let's go on down to writing. There really is not a whole lot here for you to do, but um, go ahead and, ch and check your formatting, see if you want to convert emoticons and things like that, having a default post category and a default post format. And this is posting on your blog via your email. So if you want to do that, you can do that, set that up. And right here is, is uh, it's called updated services. A lot of uh, WordPress bloggers uh, like to notify other WordPress bloggers or uh, other bloggers in general on uh, websites like Technorati and Blogroll that they have posted a new blog. So that's just what that is. And uh, I would just leave Pingomatic in there if that's what you want to do. It's fine to leave it and uh, it's just another way of getting some more traffic to your blog by letting people know that you have posted a new blog. So you wanna click Save Changes. Okay, so the next thing we wanna check out is the reading settings. We'll click on Reading. So here you're gonna consider how you want your front page to display. Do you wanna display your latest posts or would you prefer a static page to be your homepage? That's totally up to you. 
how many blog posts you want to show at a time, how many syndication feeds show the number of your most recent blog posts. You choose that. And for each article in your feed, do you want to show the full text or the full blog post, or do you want to just show a summary, like a intro teaser that will then have a link where people will click to get the full story or the full blog post. That's up to you. And then here, search engine visibility. Uh, normally people want search engines to index their blogs and help people find their blogs. So I would leave this alone unless there is uh, some reason why you would want to discourage search engines from indexing your site. So I would just leave that alone and then click save changes. Okay, here in the discussion settings, you're going to be making adjustments to suit your needs as far as how you deal with comments and trackbacks and pingbacks and things like that. Basically, you're allowing notifications up here. If somebody links to, to your blog, you'll get a pingback or a trackback, it's called. And as long as you want to be notified of that, I would just leave that box checked. I would leave all of these boxes checked here, but that's up to you. Uh, your comment settings, I like to have people that leave comments, uh, you know, they need to put their name and email address to leave a comment so you can make your decisions there. So if you want an email anytime somebody leaves a comment, leave this box checked, or if a comment is held for moderation. Once you approve somebody for a comment, they will be able to comment again later without being approved. See, because right here it says, before comment appears, and I have this checked, comment author must have a previously approved comment. If you want to do that or not do that, that's your choice. And comment moderation. This helps you control spam. So if a comment in your queue has uh, two or more links, or, or you could set a, whatever number of links you want there, uh, that will help you to catch spam. Normally the protocol is to not leave a, a link in your comment itself, only in the uh, URL address that you put in when you put in your name and, and email address and that sort of thing. So you just come on down here and choose your default avatar, etc., and click Save Changes. Oh, avatars are the images that represent people. So like when they comment, are they using a Gravatar logo uh, or some other image? That is your decision. They can either display a generic logo or one generated based on their email address. And then you want to click Save Changes when you're done here. All right, let's go on to the media settings. Click Media. And here below are the sizes that WordPress has established for thumbnails, medium size, and large size photos and images. These numbers work well, and I would just leave these alone. And then if you need to make adjustments in your editor, in your blog post editor, then you can do that. So I would just leave these alone. If you want to organize your uploads into month and year base folders, you can leave that checked and then click Save Changes. And the last settings to look at is the permalinks. So click on permalinks. Here you're choosing uh, one of the common structures of your links, which one you prefer. I actually prefer the custom structure, but whichever one you prefer is up to you. You can have your links based on the post name, based on numeric, archives, based on month and day or day, and you can even have a default, which is the least attractive in my opinion, but really it's up to you which permalink you want to set. And when you're done here, then you click Save Changes. And that's it. Now you're ready to get started using WordPress. I think you're going to like it. It's a really great tool. For additional information on using WordPress, I have a WordPress mega extended post that you can access. Just go to buildyourownblog.net forward slash blog forward slash WordPress dash blog dash post. In it, you'll find many additional subtopics of using WordPress. There's even a table of contents at the top here. Email me if you have any questions and cheers to your blog success.